All right, messages of the day. Messages of the day. Who do you have for the collective today, Spirit? Okay, come on, Giraffe Spirit, then. Let me see the bigger picture. Some of you don't need to do that. <laughs> I feel like that's what it's been leading up to, for real, for real. Like, mm -hmm. take a step back, look at it from with a, with a different perspective. Something about that third eye view. 29, 2, 9, and or 11 may be important to you. It's the energy of enlightenment here. Like I said, looking at uh, things from a different perspective. I heard Aquarius and Pisces. I'm getting that those two energies strong. Third eye and crown chakra is really coming through with this um, giraffe spirit. This may especially resonate for those of you born on in the months of, listen, baby, listen to my stomach. In the months of February, September, and or November, especially, okay? Let's see. What you what you need to see the bigger picture in regards to? I don't know. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. Energy. Ooh. Wombat spirit number 68 in reverse. Be at home. Oh, my. My, my, my. Wow. There's so much coming through right now. First of all, let me try to get these out as fast as I can. I'm sorry if, I talk, if I'm talking really fast. I just want to get it out before I forget it. Be at home within yourself. Yourself being your heart. Home is where the heart is. Where do you find yourself emotionally? Are you stable, grounded, and secure within yourself? Not that you really don't need anybody else, but at the same time, your spirit squad is really all that you need, right? That's your angels, ancestors, um, spirit guides, whomever, who are here surrounding you, whether you see them or not, or whether they're in the flesh or not. We should know that by now, right? If you walk in the spiritual journey, you know that they may come back reincarnated in a different person, okay? Whatever. The energy is the energy. That's all I'm speaking on. Okay. Okay. Moving on. The other thing is it may literally have something to do with your family in the 3D. Okay. Or your home, whomever that may be. It doesn't even necessarily have to be blood. Okay. But I'm feeling more so that that may be the case for some of you. Some of you have had to break out of or away from what like your core blood family is what I'm getting. You understand what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's time to step away, step back from, see the bigger picture, remove yourself from this family group or dynamic because it's no longer serving you. You can't, it's not allowing you to be or even feel at home. Speaking of the heart energy, because it's all about how you feel. If the vibe ain't right, it ain't right. Something, your, your soul, your spirit, your higher self is telling you Get your ass on. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop trying to force it. Do not, these these are not the, it's not the crew. It's not your soul tribe. They're not genuine to you and, and or for you. Okay? Whoever that's for. All right? That, that's, that's a lot. I'm not even really sure about the wombat, like, species in and of itself. As far as, um, I just heard connectedness. Connectedness? Connectivity. Connectedness is what they said. But maybe that's what's lacking, what's missing in this group that you got to step away from. And maybe it took for whatever to happen to separate yourself from it so that you could step back and see that. I don't know. But I, I look, I pray 343. That may be confirmation for somebody. Mm -hmm.